Hey, Chan Carter here. Just wanted to uh, create a video for you. Uh, doing some more bouncing balls. Or a single bouncing ball. Uh, much like the last video I did a few weeks back. Uh, this one, instead of just uh, bouncing up and down on the invisible plane, it's actually using spatial mapping instead of faking it. And uh, it's bouncing around the room. Uh, so I'm just, anytime I tap, I am providing uh, or amount of force to it from a random uh, direction and just letting it, you know, kind of bounce around uh, from that. So anytime I tap my finger, the ball will move. You'll hear me say ball or new or reset or whatever. I have different commands that do the same thing, which is just reset the ball uh, where I'm at, uh, where where my, my player is, uh, my camera. Um, so you'll actually see me lean over the couch and say new, and you'll see it actually kind of plop right there on the couch. And then I'll use my finger of force to make it, you know, jump across the room uh, but you'll notice that the ball is going around and it's actually bouncing off of off of uh, the different items you also see that I have uh, mesh uh, visible it's just a blue wireframe mesh that's visible for the spatial mapping that's in the room um, when the ball goes behind something like a chair the spatial mapping uh, will hide it uh, but if I do uh, have a command saying hide or show or toggle, uh, which will actually hide or show the wireframe or toggle it, if depending on which way it's it's uh, being displayed. Uh, but if the ball is behind an object, you'll still see it. So my occlusion uh, shading isn't working correctly. I really didn't do anything special there, and it kind of shows. Um, so out of the box, uh, the stuff I'm using. Uh, has the wireframe stuff working correctly anyway let me know if this interests you uh, i'm trying to determine if i you know should be doing any tutorials or spending my time uh, creating these videos so by all means leave me comments let me know if this is beneficial to you what you like what you don't like what you'd like to see more of um, i'd appreciate it all right hope you enjoyed the video cool is you don't see it and you know, it's right there behind the chair there it is and you can't see it but I still hit it just because I have anytime I tap I'm applying force to the ball so that's cool went off my uh It went in the black hole. New.
nu. not hiding everything until it updates. Once it updates, I'll get it. It's multiple meshes. That's when it goes and updates and it'll hide them legally. Well. Pretty neat. Show. So my occlusion isn't working correctly, but I'll do that another time. As long as I'm showing my wireframe, um, you, you can't see the ball. But as soon as I hide my wireframe, hide, 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 there you go. You can see it through the couch. So that's an occlusion uh, thing that I don't have working right. Uh, but either way, that's, that's the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know whether you did, whether you didn't, what you want to see. And uh, feel free to subscribe so that you'll be notified uh, my next video. All right. See you then.